Hello and welcome to AutoCAD. So in this lecture, I have brought you five amazing tricks that you should know in AutoCAD that will surely going to help you in increasing out your productivity. And this is the lecture number two. So if you haven't watched lecture number one, I will going to provide the link in the description. You can just visit it. And if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, or if you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe for the updates like this. Now let's just see the first tool that we are going to see is known as Hatch boundary so what do you mean by hatch boundary you can see that i have one situation over here in which there is one there is a block that is created with the help of line like this and it's having the circle inside now let's say that we are going for the hatch and i want to hatch this part over here this inside portion so let's just select the hatch tool from here that way you will get in the draw toolbar and click on this hatch tool and then Let's say that I'm going for the solid hatch. So I'm going to click on the hatch and the hatch editor will going to open. From here, I'm going to select solid and in the solid, I can just provide different colors. Like let's say that I want a yellow. And then if I'm going to click on this inside boundary, you can see that it will automatically going to detect that boundary and it will going to create that hatch. So this is a conventional, conventional hatch that it will going to create. But here you can see that the area that is bounded inside these circles will not going to be hatched because AutoCAD will not going to find out that area and it will not going to hatch it. But let's say that you want this to happen. You want the circles area to, uh, to also get included. So how to do that? So I'm going to delete this hatch and there is one trick in the hatch that you can do for that. So I'm going to click on this hatch again. And in the this boundary section you will see an arrow click on this arrow and you will see that this is the tool with the help of which you can just determine a new boundary so click on this and then it will ask you to just select the object so if i'm going to select the lines like this all the objects it will going to determine the boundary that will going to cover only with the help of these lines or this objects that we have selected and now if i try to hatch it let's say that i'm going to make it enter and then i'm going to select the hatch now you can see the difference it will going to ignore the areas that is inside the circles so with the help of this you can just create a boundary and you can just create a hatch that is limited to only that boundary and no other boundary will going to affect it the next tool is known as the boundary tool so with the help of boundary tool you can just create a very complex shapes very easily so how to use that boundary tool to get the boundary tool you have to type boundary in that command box that is provided in autocad and there's a first option that comes that is known as boundary so if i'm going to click on this then it will going to help you in determine determining out the boundary like you can see that there are some of the situations that i have provided and you can see that how we can just get a very complex shapes very easily with this boundary tool so if i'm going to click on this pick point and then it will going to ask you to just select a close boundary so i'm going to click on anywhere like this you can see that inside this option and it will going to just tick the sketches their first lines like this and it will going to create a boundary like this now once i've selected the internal points just make it enter and that's it it will going to create a boundary object like this and now you, it is overlapped with this object so if i'm going to click on this you can see that i can use a move command to move it and a get and get a shape like this so you can see that i haven't disturbed the object of this object and from this i have just get one more object that is being created like this similarly i can use boundaries in these conditions as well and there are other conditions also that you can use but I'm going for the boundary again. I'm going to select the pick point. I'm going to select this part. Just make it enter and it will going to be overlapped. Just move it. And this is how you will get one more shape. It's kind of puzzle. And then I'm again going for the boundary tool. And then this I'm going for the boundary. And then I'm going to select a pick point and I'm going to select this part. Just make it enter. And you can see that this is how I can get these complex shapes very easily so this is what boundary tool will going to do for you the next tool that i have brought to you is known as the selection cycle so what is selection cycle let's say that here you can see that i have 
different circles or different colors of circle now let's say that i'm going to overlap all the circles together like with the help of a move command i'm going to se select that yellow circle and i'm going to overlap it with the white and then i'm again going to select this green circle and then i'm going to put it on this option this part again then it's time for the red i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to put it on this op one and then i'm going for the blue and i'm going to put it on this one now you can see that these all circles are overlapped together so there will be the conditions like this if you are going for any civil designs or a mechanical design then you will see that these kinds of situation arises so at that time let's say that i want to select the yellow circle so if i'm going for the move command and if i try to move it then it will going to move the first object so the blue is the last object that i have placed so it will going to move that blue object first and then you have to disturb all the other objects to get into the yellow color circle uh, to just move it so at that time you can use a selection cycle if you will find it inside this mod toolbar and if you find it doesn't find it you can just click on this customization option and you will see that there is a tool that is known as selection cycle so what is this let's just see so i'm going to tick mark over this and now it's, since it is ticked it will going to be present inside this bottom toolbar and this is what selection cycle is you can see that this is a tool so if i'm going to turn it on you can see that now the selection cycle is on now if i'm going for the move command and if i'm going to select this you can see that a selection list will going to open so it will going to open the list that will contains all the overlapped items so i want to select a yellow circle so i can just click on the yellow circle now if i'm going to move it you can see that only the yellow circle will going to be moved so with the help of the selection cir circle you can just make it happen so if i'm going to switch off this you can see that if i try to select this again it will not going to open that list but if i'm going to select the select uh, i'm going to switch on this turn on this selection cycle and if i try to select it again you can see that it will going to again provide you that list and you can just select any of the circle from that list and it will going to be moved So the next tool that we are going to see is how we can use the application toolbar search option to search out the command. So AutoCAD contains a lot of lots of commands. So it is very difficult to just learn or just memorize all the lo locations of all the commands that is present. So let's say that you want to find out where is trim. So right now, since trim is a very common command, so we all know that it is present in the modification wall like this. But let's say that this this command this command or the trim command is something that you use very rarely so at that time it is very difficult to find out uh, easily because you can't remember its exact location so at that time you can use this application toolbar for that click on this application toolbar and you will see that inside this application toolbar also here is the com search option present so you can just click on you can just write the name of the tool and it will going to just show up you that where that tool is now you can tell me that that same thing that we can do with the help of this command box also if i'm going to type a trim over here it will going to start the trim but the difference is that command box will not going to show you where that trim is where the trim is located so if you am going for this application toolbar search option then you can see that it will open the trim it will going to find out the trim command and it's going to show up that where it is present like it is present in the home in the modify option and you will see that there's a trim and extend dropout so you can see that it will going to show you where it is present and it will also going to show you all the other tools where the trim is being used like surface trim is a you uh, basically a tool where the trim is being used and this is sur surface script also here also it is being used and all the other tools or all the other places where the trim has been used and if i'm going to click on this trim it will going to active that trim as well so it's a hyperlink that is present you can just click on and it will going to active the tool as well like let's say that i want to find out where the layers are so i or i can just find out where the boundary are so you can see that it will going to show you that draw hatch down fly out and you will see that there's a boundary so you can see that it will going to find out all the locations of uh, even the locations of the tool so this is what help you a lot so the last tool that we are going to see is known as adding the 
tools into the quick access toolbar so this is the quick access toolbar with the help of this you can just access any of the tool very quickly and these are basically containing some list of uh, tools but we can just add more tools in it like let's say that you want to add up the rectangle or the circle let's say that you are inside this view toolbar and now you want to use a rectangle circle tool so at that time you can't select it from here so what you can do you can just right click over the circle and there's an option that comes that is known as add access to the add to x quick access toolbar so if i'm going to click on this you can see that now this tool or this circle tool will going to be added in the quick access toolbar and you can just even you are inside a different tab then also you can use the circle from here so this is how you can just add up a tools in the quick access toolbar. You can even add up the whole list. Like let's say that you want to add up uh, this whole list or this application uh, into the quick access toolbar. So at that also you can do, you can just right click and then you can just add up it to quick access toolbar and you can see that the whole application bar has been added up. So it's not like that it will only going to add up this tool. It will also going to add up this interface item so here you can with the help of this also you can just select it so if you are inside some other tab and if you want to change the layer you can just select it from here so this is what you can do now if you want to remove it you can just right click and there is a remove from quick access toolbar you can just click on that and it will going to be removed so you can just customize your quick access toolbar according to the tools that you prioritize or whatever you your tools are in a priority you can use it like this so this is all five tricks that definitely going to help you in increasing out your productivity. And if you want a full course on AutoCAD, you can just visit our Udemy link. The link is provided in the description. You can just visit out for the comprehensive AutoCAD course. And if you haven't subscribed this channel, please do subscribe it. And if you like this video, then please do press the like button and share it your, with your friends. Thank you and catch up you in the next one.